Hey Legionnaires, Steve Cox here with you from High Tech Legion. You know, when it comes to PC gaming, um, one of the main things, aside from better frame rates, better resolution, uh, better graphics, uh, you know, better everything, one of the main things we have over our console brothers, the uh, our other gamers, is precision and control in our movement and our ability uh, to use Everything from first-person shooters, using a mouse, click on a head, headshot, you know, instead of those analog sticks. But when it comes to precision and control, nothing beats the mouse-keyboard combination of the computer. Uh, and on that note, I have with me, this is the GX Gaming Gila mouse. Uh, this is by Genius. Um, this won the Innovation uh, International C... Blah blah. It won, pardon me, it won the Design and Engineering Showcase Honors at Innovation International CES in 2013. Uh, it is an MMO RTS approved gaming mouse. Of course, it'll be great for really any kind of gaming that you might do. Uh, of course, first person shooters, you're going to have high DPI and high precision. Um, but the main reason they call it MMO and RTS is because it does have macro functions, uh, programmable buttons. It's got two extra buttons on the right hand side here that you will use, two extra buttons on the left hand side, two more on the side by the thumb, and then two directly in the center underneath the scroll wheel. Um, it has full RGB LED with uh, full control of that. You can program it basically to any combination of 16 million colors and three different sections of the mouse light up independently and I'll show some of that in uh, probably just in some pictures maybe grab a little bit of video of it uh, changing it. Um, the back of the box has another image you can see some of the LED light up it kinda looks like it has eyes on the front uh, otherwise I think it's a really good looking mouse kind of angular but uh, honestly I already got it out of this box earlier and uh, it actually still feels really good. Most of the other mice that I've used uh, have been really smooth, really flowing, curved lines. And so, you know, you expect that to be comfortable. But when I first looked at this, these sharp angles and the lines of this mouse, I kind of thought, oh, that doesn't look comfortable. But it is. It's surprisingly comfortable. Uh, your thumb sets right on it, and it's, it's actually really nice and beautiful. Um, I forgot to take that down. I use that to focus my camera. Forgive me. Either way, looking at some of the information back here, we have the uh, frame rate of 12,000, an acceleration of 30 Gs, velocity of 150 IPS, that's the inches per second. Um, detection level is 1 to 5 millimeters, and uh, there's no sleep mode. Um, and this does use the SG Core, that's the uh, Scorpion Gaming Core. Uh, basically, this is uh, GX Gaming's own program to operate their laser mouse. Uh, again, this is a laser mouse. Um, system requirements are Intel or AMD processor 1 gigahertz or above. RAM size 2... Uh, almost said 2 grams. Pardon me. Uh, 2 gigabytes or above. USB 1.1 or above. A DVD ROM drive. Uh, available USB port. And then Windows 7, Vista or XP. And I'm using it on Windows 8 and 8.1. I have Windows 8 on one computer and 8.1 on my other computer. It works beautifully, so no worries there. The package contents, it says this is the, uh, you've got the Gila Laser Gaming Mouse, the user interface CD driver. Um, it says a storage case, but I don't believe I have a storage case unless they're just talking about the plastic shell in there. Uh, the extra foot pad set, that's just the Teflon feet that go on the bottom to uh, give minimal resistance, which is actually really nice. The mouse slides very easily on just about any surface. I have a wooden desk. I have like a, uh, I don't know, some kind of a plastic or polycarbonate, some kind of desk. Uh, I have, of course, a foam gaming mouse. I have a plastic gaming mouse. About the only thing I don't have to test on is a steel gaming mouse. Um, I even have a glass surface that I use, but because it's a laser mouse, 
I'm not using it on the glass. It's it actually says in the safety in the manual, and I can show it in there if if you'd like. Uh, actually says laser mouse. Obviously, you do not use that on glass or mirror surfaces of any kind. You don't want to get hit in the face and the eyes, particularly with a laser. Um, anyway, and then you also have a multi-language quick installation guide. And uh, other than that, it's just basically all this same information over and over again in what looks to be about 20 different languages. Um, basically, the advanced 8200 DPI laser and the 16 million RGB adjustable backlights is what it's talking about. Um, when you open up the box, again, I already took the mouse out of this shell here, but it has basically some of this same information, but it does show it comes with the weights, which, I, oh, that's probably, I apologize, that is what they're talking about, the storage case. That's got to be what they're talking about. The storage case is uh, for the weights. So, but they didn't mention the weights themselves in the, so that's one silly thing that they may have missed, but, you know, who cares? They're in here. It's a beautiful mouse. Uh, you know, a few words on the package aren't going to make a difference there. It's a 1.8 meter braided cable. It comes with its own onboard memory. Um, in fact, I was pretty impressed. It actually does remember. I set it to one set of colors on one computer and then moved it over to another computer so that I could actually use it in some different games. I didn't want to install all my games over on my other testing computer. Uh, so I moved it over to my main computer, installed the software on there, and it actually knew, it remembered, you know, because of its onboard memory, it remembered the profiles, it remembered the uh, macro, it remembered the color settings that I had from the other computer. So, for example, if you were to take this mouse over to a friend's house or something to use there, you just take the setup disc or throw that disc. I don't know for sure if you can. I'm sure there's a way. Throw the disc basically onto a thumb drive, and you can carry all your profiles, all your macros, and everything to your friend's house uh, or over to other computers. You know, maybe over to your laptop or whatever the case may be. Um, again, you have your weights, the case for the weights, the feet. And it just shows images of all that. And that's pretty simple look in the box there. Uh, looks like a really great mouse. Like I said, I've been using it a little bit already. I had it out of here. Uh, my original unboxing video was pretty terrible, to say the least. So I'm redoing it. And uh, so I apologize. You don't actually get to see me take it out of the box here. But we'll get to that over on the table and, and take some looks at, at a, <clears throat> excuse me, take a good look at it in use and in function, and then I will have a video showing how the software works, how easy uh, all the macro setup is, and how easy it is to work with the software to get the mouse to do exactly what you want it to do in your own personal need. Alright, this is the Gila. Uh, I say Gila because of the Gila monster. I, I'm not really sure if it's Gila or Gila or Gila, but I'm pronouncing it Gila, so bear with me. If you think it's wrong, we can argue in the chat. Either way, the uh, this is GX Gaming by Genius. Um, looks like we've got an award here already for the International CES Innovation for 2013. Um, this is an MMO and real-time strategy RTS approved gaming mouse. Uh, of course, going to be pretty good for just about any type of gaming you do. But because it does have all the extra buttons around the edge, two on the left, two on the right, and two in the center, um, and then two more on the side, it looks like. Uh, it is going to be designed more for MMOs and real-time strategies with all the different spells and abilities, things like that, that people use regularly. Already took a little bit of a look on the inside there. I want to give you a little better close-up of it, is all. And I'll flip it over and we'll take a look at the back side. Not a lot of information there. Again, it shows the RGB. Um, 
It does show some other awards that it got. I can't even read it from there. PC and Smart Life Community got an excellent award. So uh, I have a high expectations. Again, the Genius brand, their GX Gaming line of uh, mice and keyboard and you know peripherals. Um, then you've got all your information down here as far as just sales information and stuff like that. But let's get to the important part and get it out of the box. I've already torn open the top there just so I can make sure and get to it. <clears throat> Oops, and now I've torn it even more. There we go. All right. Before we pull the mouse out, we'll take a quick look at some of the information inside the package here. If I can get it open. So it comes with a graphical user interface pre-installation guide. Let's see, it says, if your language is English, Russian, German, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Brazil, Arabic, Chinese, traditional, or simplified, just insert the CD in the drive and follow the installation wizard. So that's simple enough. But if you live in Italy, Czech, blah, 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 any of the places not listed in the first one, you have to go to the website and download the latest interface for your language. So that's pretty simple. Basically, they're just saying they cover a lot of other languages that might not be on this CD, and you have to go to the website and uh, get those. So uh, that's nice. Looks like it's stickers. Um, I imagine these are these must be feet. These are plastic feet or rubberized plastic feet for the mouse. Uh, we'll take a look at that if it's a different pattern or if it's just raised. Maybe it's thicker than what normally comes on it. <clears throat> or maybe it doesn't come with feet. Maybe it's just flat on the bottom. Here's the user guide again the uh, for the Gila MMORTS game. Or gaming mouse, I mean. Table of contents, you've got all the different languages again. Start on one is the English, you've got hardware installation again. Put the CD in, run it, install it. Pretty simple. If you can't handle that, you probably don't need a gaming anything. Um, talks a little bit about the graphical user interface. We're going to cover that really well uh, on the PC uh, during the actual review. And, you know, I'm going to show you exactly how to use that and walk you through step by step uh, it just talks about how to assign buttons um, manage macros advanced settings light options things like that and uh, that's all it is and then it goes into the other languages so pretty simple there it looks like a big thick book but it's just a bunch of different languages which is really nice that they cover uh, so many languages for so many different users and uh, people around the world um, this is a global economy and I do like to see that all right let's get that out of there um, I did mention earlier on that it comes with weights here they are tucked away in the bottom I assume that's what that is yes it is weights you can see they're gonna come in all the same size, but you can put different amounts. You could put, you know, just one or two or all of them, whatever you need, whatever works for you. Let's take a quick look. All right, they go down here. Has an insert where you'll be able to put those weights into this piece, obviously. And they'll go in there. And I imagine if you're really being precise about it, the pattern could affect how that how that feels to you. Then you put it back in there, snap it in. And that definitely changed the weight. The uh, the mouse is already pretty hefty itself. Um, let's talk about those feet that I was looking at. It does already come with feet, so I don't know if these are just replacement feet or. Uh, or if they're a different size, surely it'll say in one of these books, but I didn't see it. I, th I thought it would say. But either way, let's get some other stuff out of the way and take a close look at the mouse. 
So here's an up close and personal look at the Gila by GX Gaming. Uh, again, this is the MMO and RTS, you know, massive multiplayer role-playing game and real-time strategy games. Um, and primarily it's called so because of the additional buttons. You can see you have the mouse 1, mouse 2, mouse 3, mouse 4, 5, 6, and then the 7 and 8. So that's uh, the 8 additional buttons. And then with the multiple profiles and the DPI switching and all of those different features. Uh, the only button on this mouse which is not fully programmable is the left click. Of course it has to be uh, has to remain the left click uh, but the right click and all these other buttons are all fully programmable. Uh, you can see here the GX Gaming with the Scorpion on the back here and uh, you can see some of the lights which are going to light up uh, and I'll get this plugged in here and get some video of it get some pictures of it with the lights on uh, those lights are fully programmable 16 million different colors using an RGB setup uh, basically you can combine red green and blue in many many different levels uh, to basically create any color you want you can see here uh, slightly on the side let me tighten up a little bit no you're not going to be able to tell well, you can. Uh, you have the six DPI settings, which change with this little uh, little button in the center. You can see the man kind of walking there. Uh, that changes the speed of the mouse itself, and um, just uh, overall looks like a really solid mouse. I've been using it for a few days, and uh, it's really nice. The connection here. For the cable and of course the cable itself being braided uh, just overall feels like a really solid mouse the little place where you put the weights in even with some weights in there of course it's got the rubber uh, this little rubberized fitting here for the weights to snap into so it doesn't shake around there's no rattling of any kind but honestly even without those weights it still feels like a pretty pretty hefty a pretty solid mouse um, I mean it just feels really solid even just try to squeeze in on it from the sides or from the tops or anything I don't want to mash real hard on the actual buttons themselves uh, but on different points where you might sus you know you might feel weak point in other mice uh, this one just feels really really solid I mean seriously I mean uh, I may not be uh, you know the biggest strongest guy on earth but I'm strong enough I could squeeze on that mouse and, and tell you that it's it's solidly built so there's no question about the quality of the build of this uh, particular mouse um, I'm just gonna put the weights back in here real fast and uh, again the weights do add uh, I use a few in there not all of them um, because most of the buttons and the mechanics and the memory are all up front here so it does balance the mouse there pretty nicely um, one thing I would do want to point out the mouse is kind of thicker but a little bit shorter and uh, has a fairly narrow base but not incredibly narrow uh, I need to measure that for you I had the measurements on the card a moment ago but I believe I left it in the other room um, either way though the point is that it's a short mouse so it does you know I use a palm grip normally so I would normally just rest my whole palm right on the back of the mouse and then click up here but you can see I'm using basically the middle of my fingers to make contact with those buttons so this mouse is clearly designed more for like a claw grip and you'll see you'll hold it with your hands there and your fingers there and then you'll use you know those fingers there to press those buttons and you'll have your claw there which affords you the ability to, to use these additional buttons on the side also and to be able to come back here and hit those buttons uh, I suppose if you were really talented which I'm not that uh, not that dexterous but if you were really talented you could use like the inside of your knuckle to press these buttons 
uh, while also pressing the actual left and right click. Either way, the point is, really overall an amazing mouse. I'm really super happy with it. Got really nice feet on it for the uh, Teflon to give very low resistance when sliding around and moving on just about any surface. Uh, I have two different kinds of mouse pads. I have your basic foam mouse pad. I use it predominantly because it's big and I just like a lot of big surface area. But I also have a low profile plastic uh, rough mouse pad made by Razer for, uh, for speed. And it works really well on that. And then even just on a flat surface like this table or on my desk, you can see the mouse has basically no resistance at all. It slides very easily with, uh, with those Teflon pads there. So uh, beautiful mouse and it looks great all lit up with the different colors and the uh, adjustable profiles and everything. We'll get that hooked up and take a good look at exactly how well all the user interface and the software that comes with this uh, Gila by GX Gaming works and that'll be uh, probably in a different video for you guys to take a look at. Hey guys welcome back. Uh, just completed some of the testing and just using the uh, Gila mouse by GX Gaming uh, from Genius. Used it for a few days, played with the macros, played with all the software, um, made a nice little video for you guys uh, covering some of the software functions and everything and I just I really have to admit I'm really really impressed I really like the mouse a lot uh, the only thing I'm a little disappointed in it's a little bit short for my personal grip style uh, other than that it's an amazing mouse I really like everything about it I mean the software is so easy to use um, yet very very complete it literally does everything you could want it to do um, with, without issue uh, definitely going to give it an editor's choice award I think for the price and all the features and everything that come with it uh, you're going to have a hard time finding a much better mouse for uh, the same price or cheaper or anything like that um, so that's the Gila by GX Gaming again and just a, a really great mouse. I'm really, really uh, want to keep it for myself and everything. Again, it's just, it's a little bit too short for me. I don't have huge hands, but I'm really lazy when it comes to using a mouse. And I use a big palm grip. I rest my hand on the whole thing like that. And uh, I've showed earlier in the video, the mouse is kind of short and you kind of hold it like this. But for anyone that uses that style, the claw grip, probably one of the better mice uh, you'll be able to get. Um, again, the colors, it's a good looking mouse, really well built, really solid, uh, braided cables, gold plated connections, uh, individual weights, six different uh, 4.5 gram weights for adjustable you know, weight and, and lift off and everything. Inside the user interface, inside the software, Everything is adjustable. The X and Y axis for the DPI. Of course, the DPI has a huge range all the way from 200 all the way up to 8200. Uh, you know, things like that are just just really great quality and, and there's just no way around that. So uh, that's an Editor's Choice Award for the GX Gaming Gila Mouse. Um, that's primarily for MMO and RTS, but honestly... Um, one of the features I really loved, and I'm not even a first person shooter guy, but you can set the DPI button, or really I guess you could set any of the buttons, but I set the DPI button for the sniper mode, which means I've got it set to 8200 DPI so I can spin around quick and move quick and everything, and then just tap it and it drops down to 200, 400, or wherever I set it at for very precise precision clicking, being able to, you know, make that target or, or whatever, you know, that long range, tiny little two pixel wide target, you know, being able to hit it. Uh, so just, just one of many, many great features that I talked about on that mouse. Um, so once again, I'm Steve Cox for High Tech Legion signing out. We'd love for you guys to come join us over on our forum at www.hightechlegion.com. 
Uh, give us a like over on Facebook. Keep up with everything we do there. Uh, we usually cross post everything from our forums. All of our new reviews get posted on Facebook so you can see it there. Uh, sign up for the email and everything of course. And if you're into tweeting, you want to see Twitter, uh, of course we are on there also. So follow us on Twitter and uh, keep up with uh, whatever daily updates that we have there. Talk to you then.